what's up guys welcome back to hmht so as you can see here apple has just released ios 14.5 developer beta 7 and don't mind the developer portion that you are seeing there as this update is also available to public beta testers so irregardless of the profile you have this is an update that you can update to if you have a supported iphone device and as you can see for me here ios 14.5 beta 7 came in for me on my iphone x that you are seeing here at 191.5 megabytes i was updating from ios 14.5 beta 6 so average update size that you should expect if you're updating to the same beta 7 coming from beta 6 is going to be close to 200 megabytes but less than 200 megabytes if that makes sense and obviously that's not all that apple released today if we go to the apple developer website you can see some other updates that apple released today so it's interesting to note that there's no mac os pixel 11.3 beta 7 that was released we're still on beta 6 but today we have ios 14.5 beta 7 of course ipad os 14.5 beta 7 watch os 7.4 beta 7 and finally tvos 14.5 beta 7 all these updates came out today and as soon as mac os comes out i'll be able to do a video for you and show you what it holds on the channel now if you go into the settings and go to general and go to the about this iphone section we'll click here where it says 14.5 and you can see the new build number that we have here and it's 18 e 5198 a this is the third consecutive build number that has an a and it just goes to show you how much time apple basically had when it comes to working on ios 14.5 so the moment it comes out i really really think that it will be super smooth it will be butter smooth and that's the build number so the modern firmware version there's no update and no device received the modern firmware update as you can see we have 4.03.05 if you have an iphone x that's the same modern firmware version that you'll be seeing so those are the software changes now when it comes to new features and changes there's actually something that apple has done today so if you open your find my application this is my find my application and you go to items so as you can see when you open it up by the way for the first time when you update to ios 14.5 you get a new splash screen but i already skipped that screen and you come up to this page when you go under items there and it says add accessories or other items that are compatible with find my and they will appear here so apple today did something extraordinary they made the find my network available to third party that want to basically use the network so this means that you can actually track other items besides your apple products or items from companies or manufacturers that are willing to take on this uh, apple find my network it's there and you'll be able to track more stuff and obviously if you want to learn more you can always click on the learn more link there and you see how you can keep track of your personal items using find my and it's good to see that apple has actually made this available to the public and as long as you have an iphone i believe as long as you're on ios 14 this is something that you can always check out so that's the only change or something that apple did today when it comes to the update and when it comes to ios 14.5 beta 7 there isn't really much that change besides uh stability and security improvements and also in my region in canada now siri has been updated to tell you the wwdc date for this year now this is what happened when i actually did the same command on beta 6 when is wwdc so you can see that i was given you know apple's wwdc 2020 date which is june 22nd 2020 but we know that it's different this year and we've had the date so if we ask siri when wwdc is going to be on beta 7 this is what happens when is wwdc so as you can see it's now showing us wwdc for this year that it's going to be on june 7 2021 and speaking of that date that's when we are actually going to be seeing ios 15 the next 
big ios update and speaking of um, the release date of ios 15 let's go on to the calendar here we want to talk a little bit about that so as you can see today it's april the 7th and apple released ios 14.5 beta 7 7 and the 7 sort of rhymes but that's not the point that i'm trying to make here but as you can see the last three weeks apple has been on weekly release cycles when it comes to these ios updates so i would sort of expect a release candidate on the week of the 11th so between this week i'm expecting a release candidate because seventh we have beta 7 and apple doesn't usually get to beta 8 so that is that will be something unusual and i will be shocked if we actually see a beta 8 so next week i'm expecting a release candidate most likely the official version will be released during the week of the 18th so somewhere here that's when i'm expecting ios 14.5 and when it comes to ios 15 we know that wwdc like she showed us is going to be on june 7th to 11th so so ios 15 the first beta is going to come out on the 7th that's when i'll be doing videos on ios 15 and i'll be sharing with you the many new features and changes that will come with apple's next big iphone update ios 15 and make sure you stick around to the channel and subscribe i'm trying to hit 7k so that's how this update came in for me and in case you are just curious how performance is let's let me show you here these are the geekbench scores that i got i was actually testing it after i updated so if we go to the history section here and go to cpu i want to show you the score that i got single core i got a score of 911 it's actually an emergency number but that's my score that i got and multi-core i got 2436 if we compare this to what i had on beta 6 let's go back beta 6 single core i had 917 so that's higher than 911 or 911 and 2279 that's what i had on multi core so as you can see they are fairly similar and i like the fact that on multi-threaded workloads or on multi core beta 7 is actually better so you can multitask a little bit a little bit better on this update which is something that's good now that's how this update came in for me from to show you my battery performance here let me just click there you can see my battery health is on 80 percent and before that it was on 80 percent so no change in that aspect and after some days of using it if i find any um, issues when it comes to screen on time or how the battery is performing i'll perhaps make another video or update you on my social media handles now other than that that's how this update came in for me this is ios 14.5 developer beta 7 to developers and public beta testers if you'd like to update this update for me i had no problem updating and also i feel like it's fairly stable because this is the third consecutive a update and should you wish to update i don't see there being an issue with beta 7 but if you want to wait for the official release we are not too far off from that which is also a, a safer option if you are wanting to install it on your main device which is not a backup now stay safe guys and i will definitely see you in the next video very soon peace